Hi guys, quick one on today's tiling. So we, um, we're trying to work our way through these niches. There is quite a bit of cutting and fitting. So like I had said in the previous videos, we, tr we try to do as much as we can with uh, these complicated areas dry before we start mixing up any thin set batches. You know, the thin set lasts quite a while, and we only mix small batches anyways, but we like to try to get kind of a head start on on the fitting part before we actually start trying to thin set any of it together. And then we get a majority of it ready, and if we got to adjust a little bit after we start, we, we still can come and fine tune it again, but at least we got, we got all our pieces ready to fit, and then we just make our batch, and then we just go for it. So this one's done. We did the inside of that and the top of that and uh, the bottom of that. And then that and that has a little bit of pitch so that water can drain out. But um, anyways, that's what the niche looks like finished. It's got the interior niche inside of a niche, so the small stuff. And then we started in on our windows. We got this little window going. We just finished this. Now we actually ran out of thin set to finish it up, but that's what that looks like. Um, and it just comes into um, where a molding would extension jam would normally lock in. And we lock the tile in there. And then and this little sill has pitch too, and that just locks in around. Um, where the extension jam in the sill in the sill or stool sits. This one we didn't have enough thin set to put in, so we just taped it for now. That's why it shifted down. It needs to shift up for grout. And um, sometimes we use razor blades to get up to where we want to be as far as enough for thin set. And uh, when we have miters like this, we like using uh, packing tape, shipping tape. The heavier duty ones you can really stretch and get a tight you can tighten up your miters with the with that tape it's a nice thing to have to keep things in place and stop things from moving and tomorrow we're gonna get on this uh, little niche for the bathtub and then we're gonna finish up this larger window tomorrow these couple little pieces here and uh, some over there I don't know that's pretty much it guys just a short one today showing you how that completed niche looks and how the other one's coming along and then we're going to get on this area and then after that we're going to put the uh, the top of this this tub enclosure together with marble take out that after and fill that in and then we can do our front skirts we can tile them and uh, get ready to go on our floor We'll be doing the floor soon, so we'll probably end up waiting on those skirts until the floor is done, because those skirts got to meet the floor. Anyways, that's how that's looking. We'll keep uh, posting as we make more progress, and you can check it out, see how it goes. But anyways, that's it for now, guys, and we'll uh, catch you on the next one.